Once upon a time, in a kingdom far away, there lived twin princesses named Lucy and Millie. They were known throughout the land for their beauty and grace, and their passion for dancing was unmatched. They danced with such fervor and joy that they often lost themselves in their own world, oblivious to everything around them. One day, as they danced through the royal gardens, they passed by a tranquil pond where frogs played and the water shimmered in the sunlight. In the pond sat an old mermaid named Zulu, holding a gleaming seashell. Zulu called out to the twin princesses, but they were so absorbed in their dance that they paid her no heed. However, Lucy, the more curious of the two, heard the mermaid's call and stopped to talk to her. Why do you ignore me, princess? Zulu asked gently. I am a princess of the kingdom, Lucy replied proudly. I have no need to pay attention to my surroundings. With that, Lucy rejoined her sister, and they continued dancing through the gardens. But Zulu was a magical mermaid, and she was not one to be ignored. She used her powers to travel to another pond where the princesses would pass by. This time, when the princesses approached, Zulu appeared before them and asked, Beauty is a beast of itself. Why do you not treasure the nature that surrounds you? It is what truly makes you princesses of the kingdom. But the twin princesses were unmoved. We are princesses, they said haughtily. We do not listen to commands. We have the art of dance, and that is all we need. With a wave of her hand, Zulu froze the princesses in place. Their beautiful gowns turned to ordinary clothes, and their feet became frozen to the ground. Lucy and Millie cried out in fear and regret, but no one heard their cries. It was then that they realized their mistake. They had been so focused on their status and beauty that they had failed to appreciate the true beauty of life and nature around them. Moved by their repentance, Zulu released the princesses from their frozen state and returned them to their original forms. From that day on, Lucy and Millie visited the pond daily, humbled and grateful for the lesson they had learned. They understood that true beauty lies in sharing your happiness with others and appreciating the world around you. And so, they danced not just for themselves, but for everyone to enjoy. And as their story spread throughout the kingdom, the twin princesses became known not just for their beauty and grace, but for their kindness and humility as well. Thank you for watching Artsy Monkey Learn English channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Once upon a time in a busy town of Livelyland, there lived a boy named Eric and a girl named Daisy. Every day, without fail, they would take their energetic dog, Bob, for a walk around the neighborhood. They passed by Peter's Park, a bustling hub of activity where people of all ages gathered to exercise and enjoy the outdoors. One sunny morning, as they walked through the park, Bob suddenly broke free from his leash and sprinted ahead with full speed. Eric and Daisy laughed as they chased after him, their hearts filled with joy at his playful antics. As the day went on, Eric, Daisy and Bob explored every corner of the park, taking in the sights and sounds of nature. They climbed to the top of the hills, where they could see the entire park stretched out before them, bustling with life and energy. As they caught up to Bob, they noticed a group of people doing yoga on the grassy hills. They paused to watch, mesmerized by the fluid movements and peaceful expressions on their faces. Inspired, Eric and Daisy decided to join in, following along with the poses and feeling the warmth of the sun on their skin. After their yoga session, they continued their walk, passing by others playing with balls and enjoying various outdoor activities. Bob joined in the fun, fetching balls and wagging his tail with excitement. Looking out at the park, Eric and Daisy felt a sense of peace and contentment. They realized that being outdoors, surrounded by nature and engaging in physical activity, brought them immense joy and vitality. As they made their way home, they vowed to make outdoor exercise a regular part of their routine. They knew that by staying active and embracing the beauty of nature, they would always find happiness and adventure in their lives. And so, Eric, Daisy and Bob continued to enjoy their daily walks, exploring new places and making memories that would last a lifetime. They knew that as long as they had each other and the great outdoors, they would always be filled with love, laughter and boundless energy. Thank you for watching Artsy Monkey Learn English channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Once upon a time, in a land called Fannyland, there lived Chiku the hen and Fanny the bird.
They were the best of friends and spent their days talking about the happenings in their beautiful land. Fannyland was known for its lush greenery and peaceful atmosphere. The animals and birds lived harmoniously, and life was serene. However, one day Chiku and Fanny noticed that something was amiss. The once green land was turning dry, and fires were breaking out everywhere, threatening to destroy everything in their path. Chiku and Fanny were deeply troubled by these events. They knew that if the fires continued, it would devastate their beloved Fannyland. As they pondered over what to do, they were unaware that a music goddess was listening to their conversation from the sky, her flute in hand. The music goddess was moved by their plight and decided to help. She played a magical tune, a melody of rain, and soon, dark clouds gathered in the sky. The rain poured down, extinguishing the fires and bringing life back to the land. As the rain fell, Chiku and Fanny watched in awe as the parched land began to revive. The greenery returned, and the animals and birds rejoiced. The music goddess had saved Fannyland from destruction. From that day on, Chiku, Fanny, and all the inhabitants of Fannyland lived happily, grateful for the kindness and benevolence of the music goddess. They vowed to cherish their land and live in harmony, knowing that they were blessed to have such a caring guardian watching over them. And so, the greenery of Fannyland thrived, thanks to the music goddess and the friendship of Chiku and Fanny, a testament to the power of goodness and compassion in the face of adversity. Thank you for watching Artsy Monkey Learn English channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.